In this Knife Talk video, we're going to be talking about my recent experience with Case's warranty service. So um, I got this knife. This is a Case back pocket in 154cm and burnt amber bone, I think is what it's called. Uh, burnt amber jig bone. Um, and it's, uh, I got it at a great price. Um, it was on sale and especially, you know, considering the, the 154 CM steel, which is a definite upgrade. You can see it says 154 CM there. The TB is for Tony Bose because the back pot, this back pocket is a Tony Bose design. Um, the 154 CM is a, is a big upgrade over cases, normal true sharp. So, you know, cool knife. I wanted to check out the case back pocket. I, I do like um, bigger traditional knives. I tend to like bigger traditional knives and smaller traditional knives. And I also like medium traditional knives, but, um, I think I like bigger traditional knives more than, than a lot of people who use them or collect them or whatever. Um, but I got this knife. It was a well-made knife, but it did have a crack going from the top, uh, from the bolster on the mark side down to the pin. And then I think it went all the way down to the um, shield. I do have a video, uh, one minute overview and knife talk on this knife. <clears throat> so um, you can check that out. This isn't so much about this knife as about um, the warranty experience with it. So I decided to send it in because it did have this crack. I wasn't sure if it was something that would stay stable. Uh, and it was a pretty big crack. And you know, I wanted to check out if Case would fix it. So I sent it in, um, and uh, I think a couple weeks after I sent it in, I emailed to ask if they got it. The person was uh, very courteous and, and emailed back right away and said that they had and that it would be repaired and sent in, uh, or sent back. Or no, I got an automatic email first, and then after about a month after that, I emailed them and they emailed me back and said that it was on its way. Uh, so it got here pretty quickly, um, especially considering I think it shipped last week during the holiday week. It got here in three or four business days, I think, maybe four business days, uh, shipped UPS, um, free return shipping and everything. Uh, and they did send tracking, so that was nice. Um, I find that UPS often, uh, their estimated day of delivery is so usually... Yeah, I got a call there. I was saying, <clears throat> um... Usually, you know, the last few things from UPS I've gotten, they actually get delivered a day earlier um, than than they estimate that they will. So anyway, that was that part of it was good. Um, I opened the knife here, and they definitely fixed the scales. So it looks like they took the knife apart and put new scales on both sides or new covers. Um, these are definitely lighter dyed. They have a lighter dye job than um, the ones that came on the knife do. Um, I actually like these ones better, I think, but, um, you know, definitely fix the handle. There's no crack. There's no cracks anywhere on the handle or anything. Um, <clears throat> now one thing, uh, this knife had some gaps, uh, when it left and I asked, I, I kind of mentioned them in, in the warranty stuff. They didn't really fix them. There are still some, you know, small gaps between the, um, spring and the liners, so I don't know how well you can see that, but kind of along along the whole spring, there's small gaps between the springs and liners. So they didn't fix that. Um, another thing, it did have very, very slight. So I just put some WD-40 in it. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's just the slightest um, blade wobble. Wouldn't affect anything in use in the slightest uh, amount. Definitely won't, you know, make this knife not usable and it doesn't really affect the collector value either i don't think because you know it still looks just as good but it, they didn't fix that it, it does still have a tiny tiny little bit of blade wobble and i'm pretty sure that they probably didn't fix it because it probably doesn't register as blade wobble to them um you know as collectors i think sometimes we're pretty uh strict about that and um i'm sure this is within their tolerances uh it was not centered perfectly when I sent it, and it actually is now. So um, I don't know how well you can, yeah, you can see that pretty well. So it's, uh, it actually did come back better centered. Um, you know, that's cool. Uh, I, it's strange to me that they fixed this, that they were able to fix the centering 
and not the um, blade plate, but who knows. Um, finally, one thing, and after putting WD-40 in, it's way, way less um, noticeable or pronounced, but when I first took this out, there was a bunch of like gunk in the pivot, like polishing and stuff, and it would actually stop at kind of like three quarters closed. So yeah, there we go, like that. So I don't know if that's something that happens with these knives normally. If it's a normal thing, I don't think I probably would have noticed it before when I first got it if I wasn't really inspecting it like I did when I uh, got it this time. But it does have a little bit of a catch there. So um, if you push it normally from the half stop, it just closes. But if you I'll kind of hold it until you feel the catch, it will stay open right there. And then if you push it, it snaps closed. So it still has a nice snap. Definitely, you know, nice snap. Closed to half stop. The half stop's pretty good. Um, maybe a little bit of play there. And then nice snap open. Um, but that was strange to me. I'd never really felt anything like that on a slip joint before. Um, I'm not sure if it's something that'll work out, if it's something that's supposed to be there. Uh, I'm not really sure. This is the only back pocket uh, I've had um, from Case. So um, I just thought I'd give a an, uh, kind of a, an overview of, of how this warranty experience went. First of all, they fixed the main thing, right? So the, the crack, that's, you know, the biggest thing. They fixed that, definitely. Um, the They didn't fix the... the um, gaps uh i don't really know that they made them worse or anything like that but they didn't fix them they didn't fix the blade wobble but it's a tiny tiny amount of blade wobble really almost imperceptible um and they did fix the centering so uh and then there is that weird like slight catch i'm starting to feel like it's going away more so i think that might have just been some gunk in there to be honest uh yeah, it's, it, it's lightening up, I think, but it still was kind of weird when I first felt it. So you can see it'll still stay there like that. But, you know, nice knife. Um, now, overall, I think it took about six weeks. I'm not real sure. I didn't write down when I sent them. I should have, and I've done that in the, the past with warranty stuff. You know what? Actually, I might have written it down in my notebook, but I didn't look. So not real sure about how long it took. I think about six weeks. Um, so really not that bad at all, especially for a big company like Case. Uh, the communication was good. They, I sent it in with a lanyard attached. This knife comes with this lanyard. They sent a new lanyard. I'm sure they just cut that old one off. I doubt that these costs basically anything for them. Um, so they sent a new lanyard. They also sent a new product quality information, which maybe that's like a, um, thing that they do to, for legal reasons. I don't know. And then they sent this and close. Please find the product you sent to case for repair for many years of continued use. We recommend that you clean and oil your knife frequently. Good advice. WR case and Santa Cutlery Co. Um, I uh, did wipe it off and give it some WD-40. So it's all set to go. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty, pretty positive warranty experience. Um, they fixed the main issue. Uh, and... You know, I've heard lots of other positive uh, experiences with, with cases warranty, so it's good to know. Um, another Pennsylvania company I, I enjoy or I like to support companies in Pennsylvania, mainly Case and GEC. Uh, so I, I think that it's it's cool that they have good service. Um, I've only been at Case once, uh, but they were, you know, nice and helpful and show, showed uh, my dad and myself around when I was there. Um, so... Um, overall a pretty positive experience now uh, to talk about this knife itself a little bit more I really don't I'm not a big fan of this bone color um, I don't like the scratch type jigging that they ha have on it um, just not really uh, a style of bone a style of jigging that I'm a huge fan of like I say I do like the color on this one better than I did on the last one I like the whiter areas a little bit more but there's just too much of this kind of scratch you see what I mean there with these like scratch marks I don't really like that kind of jigging so I don't really think I'm going to keep this knife um I wanted to check out the back pocket I like it nice thin knife especially for the length but I think there are other cases that 
I'd rather check out. So I'm probably going to be um, selling this one. But anyway, I, I wanted to make a video on Case's warranty. Um, I've used warranties on lots of other knives. Actually, I have two examples right here. I didn't actually use the warranty on these actual knives, but Kershaw, I've used their warranty to replace a blade that my dad broke and some other things. Very, very good warranty, easy to use. Victorinox, good warranty. They sent me two invoices for $5 um, for like return shipping or something like that. Uh, so I don't know why they sent a second one. That was kind of weird. They also had said that they wouldn't charge for it at all um, because there was an issue with their credit card processor. But anyway, um, they did replace and, and fix the things that I needed fixed. So pretty good um, there. I've used Spyderco's. Uh, they fixed what I needed fixed. Um, so, you know, pretty good there. And um, pretty bad experience with uh, SE or EC. I don't know if I've made a video on that. I don't know if I will. I've posted about it on my Instagram, so you can check that out. Uh, Benchmade, I've had good warranty service from, definitely. Uh, let's see, ZT is Kershaw, the same parent company, so they have good warranty. Uh, but yeah, I just, I like to make videos when I use the warranty on from a certain knife brand um, or company. I like to let people know what the warranty is like. I, what I don't like to see is people saying, oh, this night, this brand has a great warranty uh, or, oh, this night, this brand has a, a terrible warranty. Um, people who've never actually used the warranty. So two examples of that. A lot of people talk kind of talk badly about Spyderco's warranty because in it, they say that you can't disassemble your knife or damage caused by disassembly is disassembly is not covered. Well, that might be the case, but that's just so that they don't have to replace a knife that somebody just destroyed. You know, like I say, I've used Spyderco's warranty and they've been helpful. On the other hand, a company can say whatever they want in their warranty and really, you know, what are you going to do if they don't uh, honor it? So the situation with EC, uh, everybody says that there is no question to ask warranty because that's what their warranty says, no questions asked, and they that's pretty much their biggest selling point. I mean, you can get literally the same knife made by the same company. You can get a, a Rowan-made um, Ontario Rat 5, and it's the same knife as a as an EC5, um, or some of their models, you know, and it's significantly less expensive. And it's just the name and the fa and how they market their their warranty. The fact that it's no questions asked. Well, um, there are questions. They will ask you questions, and in my case, at least, they really resisted um, that style of warranty. No questions asked. I mean, they did end up replacing the knife, so I have to be honest about that. They did do that, but um, there were definitely questions involved, and and it was reluctant. On the other hand, I've used Ontario's warranty, and you know, which I say, like I say, they have Rowan made knives. Um, as far as I know, that I don't know if that's still the case, but it was, and they fixed I forget what I had but they fixed it without any questions so you know what I'm saying is I like to make these videos about knives that I actually have experience using the warranty because what the warranty says means almost nothing um, not totally nothing uh, there are certain states where there's like actual legal restrictions but you know what are you gonna do you're gonna sue a company for for not replacing a you know 50 to 250 dollar knife it'll cost more to sue them right uh and you're not going to get a class action lawsuit going so that's just silliness like suing suing them would be stupid anyway but what i'm saying is they can say whatever they want and really what matters whether they're going to give you good warranty service and and repair things and and do things the way they should it's really up to the people right the 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 people who who do the, the service, the customer service people, the warranty um, center people. And I think that, you know, seems like Case has good people, seems like Spyderco has good people, seems like Victorinox has good people, seems like Kershaw has a good system. Um, and, you know, like, you know, Kershaw's pretty big, Victorinox is real big. So, you know, these are all bigger companies too. So, you know, I think it's more important how they, how they 
actually apply their warranty than it is what it says. So I don't like to see people making videos and, and talking online about how great one warranty is or how bad another is just by the wording of the warranty because that's not the whole picture and it's not really the, the most important part of the picture. So anyway, that's made this video a lot longer than I meant it to be. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure everybody knows that Case has a good warranty, but now you know for this specific situation. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Um, I try to answer them when I can, and I'm always interested to see what you have to say. If you enjoyed the videos, like it. Uh, that lets me know that you like you know, whatever certain kind of videos I have. I have lots of other videos. Like I said, I have videos on, on this knife itself, as well as some other case knives and such, uh, GECs, some modern knives. Um, so check those out. And if you'd like to get notifications for when I post videos, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to go out and do good.